darling. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. Oh, hi. I'll drop by for a while. Mr. Kate. I'll help you find your style. Mr. Kate. We'll laugh. We'll paint. I'm Mr. Kate. Yay! Billy, turn off the TV. Your father's going to be here any moment. <sighs> Mmm. <gasps> smells good in here. Darling, hello. What is that smirk? I haven't seen one of those on you in a while. Let's go into the city tonight. We're gonna celebrate. We got Subaru. Oh, darling, that's wonderful, but I just put a pot roast in the oven. It'll be good tomorrow, right? I suppose. Come on, let's leave in 10 minutes. We'll catch the six o'clock train. 10 minutes? My hair, I gotta do something. My hair is really messy. I want to do a vintage inspired hairdo that is pin curls. But pin curls are labor intensive and they take hot rollers usually. Except I figured out a way to do what I'm calling lazy pin curls, which uses only a wand curler. So first thing I got to do is give myself a more vintage part. The fact that my hair is parted in the middle isn't really the pin curl vibe. So I'm going to use my teasing comb to give myself a side part. Now that I have my side part, I'm going to brush out my messy ass hair. I like to do hairdos on dirty hair because I just feel like it's so much more responsive than super clean floppy hair. And I love dry shampoo, so I'm going to use this in my roots to kind of give it a lift because pin curls, you always have a little bit of body at the root. So now I've got some nice lift in my roots from the dry shampoo. If you want more, you can use your teasing comb. I'm going to use my teasing comb a little bit at the crown of my head. Okay, so now I have the base all ready. It's fluffed up at the roots. I got some height at the crown. I've got my side part. And now I'm ready to do my actual pin curls. This is the cheater lazy part. I'm going to use this wand curler instead of doing hot rollers in my hair. And I'm just going to pick pieces from the front. So I'm going to start at the bottom of my hair, keeping my wand horizontal. So I'm going to spray it with a little bit of hairspray just to keep it holding. I'm going to have a bobby pin ready. I'm going to create the pin curl shape by just folding it around itself. So just follow the curl shape that you created with your curling iron. Once you've reached the scalp with your nice little pinwheel, you use a bobby pin. So I just use the pin across the diameter of the curl. When you have layers in your hair, you really want to make sure they all get around the curling iron so that they're all curled the same way. So sometimes you might want to start at the top of your hair. Again, I'm using the shape to dictate, but I'm keeping it nice and secure here, closer to my face. So there we go. I'm just going to do three and two. You could go and do the entire head of hair. You could go around and do the base of your neck. I'm going to finish it off with a little spritz. And I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a clean curl and I'm going to do the same technique with the wand holding it horizontal, but I'm just going to brush these curls out so that they all become uniform and very smooth. You look nice. Thank you, darling. I just gave myself lazy pin curls because why not? Who are you looking at? Let's go. Sally, no R-rated movie. Billy, too. <laughs> Kate. Thank you so much everyone. We have reached the end of this video, but fear not. Please relax, enjoy, subscribe, check me out on mrkate.com. Bye.